documentation. Documentation. And Achtung, be careful, now it gets loud. Documentation! I just had to look it up on my diploma. It says, der Katalog als Künstlerbuch zwischen Produktion, Dokument und Vermittlung. Wurde mit sehr gut 1,1 bewertet. The catalog is an artist book between production, document and mediation. Was marked as a very good 1.1. Documentation. Before the internet, you had to wait until you would get not necessarily 36 or 24 works, let's say four or five shots per work. So let's take a smaller roll of film, 24 through four. So you would wait until you would have six works ready get the role, put it in your camera, and then decide the work. Then you would bring it to the drugstore if you want to save money or to the photographic studio. They develop, they let the thing develop, I, I normally using slides. So that could take up to a week. Then you would, oh no, the, oh yeah, you would get it. It would take a week. Then you would look at it, um, make your selection, bring it back to one of the print producing places and get it another week later or three days in the, in the mid nineties. And then you could start gluing them in A4, on A4 sheets with plastic folders and you would write with the hand what the titles are. So that's what, how a documentation or how I, grew up with, or that's how I understood documentation. But then the internet came and I was hyper excited when I figured out then with a singular email, that was in 2007, with a singular email address, you would have the possibility to create 100 block addresses, 100. I couldn't believe, I thought Google hasn't understood the consequences. It didn't have any consequences besides, because I'm, uh, I'm probably alone with that kind of practice. So I think the very first block I did was Kirchenführer Schweden, Church Guide Sweden. Relatively recently, I uh, had come to Sweden and uh, not to being part of anything, I started walking to and along the churches, not necessarily in the city center, the main cathedrals you know, or the German church, uh, but more the outskirts. So it was a way to know the city, but also, of course, to know the churches and understand their, the architecture, but tiny bit the history, but you would also connect a kind of the topography of a city. And the Stockholm um, topography is a pretty difficult one due to the islands, the rocks, and a kind of a weird, no, no, it made totally sense, the subway station. So, but if you're actually not walking between the things, maybe driving or cycling is also helpful. It's really hard to get an overview how these things are linked at. So, so I walk myself along the churches through the city and gain some kind of knowledge. I took then a, yeah, had then since I probably 2000 and what was the six I borrowed or had, oh no, I got a, oh yeah, I, no, that was later. So at that point somewhere there, I had access to a digital camera. Before, before I always bore it, so I could run around with it. Took the photos, I made some decisions and document each of the churches. So there was no, not the way in between, but the churches put a name on it. And as it was for German, I wrote some sentences to it. Yeah, so nothing complicated. So 
then everybody got used to the internet, social media uh, got also up, uh, I think from 2008 on uh, with the smartphone being present. And then for a while, everybody documents everything. I think that's still going on. But what also develops with this kind of attitude, a certain criticality towards documentation. I don't want to be that guy, a person who photographs everything and then, then they get, get all storage in the north of Sweden or on these kind of little platforms in the sea. I don't want to contribute to the digital uh, um, pollution of the world. Okay, so that's now the next generation that has never lived without the internet that has kind of a like a nonchalance, a kind of a uh, documentation, why would I do that? So now the screaming parts of it. Documentation is an essential possibility to make yourself step out of the creative process. Make yourself use an instrument a lens, a tool to look through a technology device, grasp and collect views on it. The next step, look at them with a certain distance, have access to the possibility to look at it. But in the advanced level, what I always try to convince everybody make a selection because this is this editing process that makes you think about your audience and making yourself thinking of an audience is, you know it now, a curatorial move. And it's, I think, a, 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 a wonderful possibility to actually get a perspective on what you actually do. Yeah, so documentation. Documentation. Documentation! Thanks for today. <laughs>